We have watched Joe ride all week. The crowds, the chickens, the communities rallying around him and St. Joseph's Center. You ready? Oh, get the horn. But meet someone else on a bike, Eliana. She's one of the residents at St. Joseph's Center. She's one of the reasons Joe rides. Eliana just started using her therapy bike, um, but you know, it's increasing her confidence. She's, re she's doing really well. The money GoJo has raised over the years has helped expand programs to give residents like Eliana better lives, allowing caregivers to offer a taste of normalcy despite the many challenges. Some days aren't easy, but I mean, I just, I enjoy everything that we do, um, especially knowing that we make just a little impact in all their lives, so that makes me feel good. Now meet Darren. Good job. He was born premature, weighing less than two pounds, but now he's thriving, and his parents credit St. Joseph Center's Trinity Child Care Center. It's a medical daycare. Children with special needs get the therapy, treatments, and care needed so mom and dad can go to work. They treat him like family, which is, I wouldn't want anything less. I can tell that they love him. Like, I, I, it's not just a job to them. Like, they're passionate about what they do. And meet Matt. He and Colby live at one of St. Joseph Center's group homes. Matt will play basketball with you until your fingers are bleeding. <laughs> and Colby, he'll always do whatever I'm down to do. He's just always says yes. These are places where they have fun, but also learn ways to care for themselves and each other, with staff helping nurture that and themselves. It's very rewarding. I love to know that I can put a smile on their faces. We'll share much more of these stories and how you can help St. Joseph Center in our telethon Friday and Saturday nights. The reason Joe rides, the reason so many of you continue to open your hearts to help. John Meyer, Newswatch 16.